how to have a royal wedding. You don't have to marry a member of a royal family to have a royal wedding. Just crib their style. You will need invitations, a horse-drawn carriage, a reception venue with a balcony, extra names, etiquette instructions, and a 21-gun salute. Optional, history books. Step one, send invitations that begin, I am commanded by the queen to invite you. In the United Kingdom, the I being commanded is the Lord Chamberlain, the chief officer of the royal household. In your household, it could be anyone. Step two, pick out extra names to use when exchanging vows. Only commoners have only one or two given names. The ruling classes have at least four. Just make sure they're regal enough for a royal wedding. Consult history books for names of past kings and queens. Step three, hire a horse-drawn carriage to carry the bride and groom from ceremony to reception. Publicize the path your carriage will take so people who haven't been invited can pay their respects. You can't have a royal wedding without adoring subjects. Step four, book a reception hall with a balcony from which you can wave to total strangers. Step five, instruct guests that they are not to touch the bride, the groom, or anyone in their immediate families without the person's implied consent, such as an extended hand. Men should acknowledge a royal presence by bowing their head, ladies should curtsy. Step six, Follow the tradition of Norway, Sweden, and Brunei and arrange for a 21-gun salute to announce that you are now husband and wife. Nothing like ending a royal wedding with a bang. Did you know? Prince William and Kate Middleton made royal history when they revealed details of their wedding on Twitter.